The next set of tools that we're going to work with is basically just overlap. And everybody's seen this idea before, where you take a square and put another rectangle behind it. And that means that, you know, this rectangle is behind this rectangle. Let's say we combine the rectangle with the triangle, right? We don't even really need a complete triangle for this one. So you can take this rectangle and overlap a great many rectangles behind just by hitting the outer edges of this triangle. And these rectangles don't have to be perfect for this to work. You know, the same thing happens if you take your triangle and bring it back this direction. You know, you just sort of overlap squares back that way, right? Same idea. Now, a more sophisticated approach would be to take that idea, right? Send everything back out in a triangle, create a bunch of overlap, and so on. And then change the heights, right? Like take this guy and make him a lot taller. Take this guy and make him much shorter. Keep this guy the same just for the heck of it. Then make this guy really t a little bit taller. Keep that guy, make this guy really much smaller. So what we've done here is kind of keep the ground plane the same and change the heights. And so you still get this idea that everything is going back in space, but you made it a little more sophisticated because everything's kind of broken up. You can also take that idea and shift things to the side, right? So you take your triangle going back in space and you can pull one guy out a little far. Right? Then you can pull the next guy really tall. You can uh, pull the next guy over to the side. Right? You can then take the next one, shift him up, above, down, and around, and so on. And you can kind of play with this relationship. And it's all, it's all still going to work because you're still overlapping. The next thing you can do is kind of think about grouping, uh, grouping things like you could create the stack, right? So if you're able to draw a plane in perspective, like so, you can then start to stack them by just kind of repeating that shape down. and so on, right? And you can take the stack, make it as long as you want. Simple idea, right? You can take that stack, you can evolve it. You can start the same way. Then you can start to change the angle. And then each time, change the angle. until you've done something completely different with it. So this, you kind of, the stack kind of like fell and rotated. You can take that stack and you could simply like turn the stack a little bit, right? Till you're kind of creating these kinds of things. So you could start with the stack like this. as if they're all buildings kind of like lining up next to each other or something like that. Could be anything. You could, um, again, take this idea of stacking and use it with ellipses, right? The ellipses could be different sizes or they could be the same size. It doesn't really matter. You can take those and evolve them, right? So that's how you get your snowman, right? 
you can also take your idea of just simply overlapping these uh, these shapes with this stack idea, and you could make it into something, right? You could say tilt that and begin to play with the idea of form and stacking. So you get these little forms that begin to stack up, right? Like armor or something like that. Or if you wanted to take that idea and make it, you know, bug-like, you could make those kind of more organic. And then you can finish them off, turn them into like little pincers or something like that, and make them kind of insert into each other, right? As if they're kind of these little cones stacking. Or, you know, simple thing, it could be actual like mugs or something like that stacking. You know, cups. You could also take this idea and create like connective, like connective tissue that kind of connects these forms together. Kind of makes them a little more gross. Take that same idea, the, even the same kind of like basic shape, and you can do something completely different with it, right? Take these, bring them out a couple of times, and then you can turn them into like forms, basically. You can relatively quickly nest boxes together, right? As if they're all kind of inserted into or stacked on each other. Then you can do the whole the card idea. Remember how we took this basic shape and then tilted it and we wound up with a card? So that could be the top of a house, but you could also take that idea and begin to evolve it, right? And you can stack those, um, just stack, keep stacking those forms. And you can do that towards you, like where each form is kind of coming towards you, but you could do that away, right? They could be going away from you. That idea. You can take your prototypical kind of arrangement of boxes, this sort of thing, just add a third a third to your original sort of basic overlap diagram. And then you could convert those into boxes, right? Take that and just make that evolve. You can kind of use the shapes to sort of group things that eventually are going to become dimensional, or you can evolve them more directly. A little bit ago, we did our kind of form stacking idea, right, with um, with like a Coke bottle. And the basic idea was you stack cones and cylinders on top of each other. But, you know, you can also think of it as a bunch of shapes, right, kind of nesting through each other. And then you can convert that to form, right? So I think you're going to see that this idea of shape combining and overlapping shapes is going to be really, really powerful in terms of what you can create and how you can embellish objects.